Aren't you tired of reviewing products that don't quite match your vision? In my experience, this usually happens because how your design should behave from one screen size to the other is a complete mystery for your developers. In this video, I will show you how to use a Figma plugin called Breakpoints to hand off your designs like this. This was a complete game changer for me and my team, and I promise you will like it too. Without further ado, let's get right into it. We're gonna start the tutorial with all the designs ready because the idea is for you to use this plugin right before you hand off these designs to your engineering team. And I decided to use Anima's mocha for landing pages because they have all the elements that change from one screen size to the other and I thought that was a great use case for this tutorial. So big shout out to Anima before anything else and I highly encourage you to go and check it out their website. Anima is a platform that helps you go from design to code faster. So first we need to check if, all, if our constraints are all well set and to do that just select your frame and start playing around with the width of your frame. So we're going to start with desktop zoom out a little bit and as you can see the constraints are not set and that will probably be your case to you if you didn't set your constraints before so what we're going to do now is go from top to bottom and check each element's constraint and we're going to start with the header for the header we want this to go to expand with the width of my of my container so i'll change this to left to right and it's a good practice to check out your constraints as soon as you make any changes now let's go with the hero section for this one i'll do the same i'll change this to left to right and most of the time left to right will work and so let's check it out again that work select these two elements we're going to change this to left to right go back zoom out a little bit and as you can see for this component the left to right is not working because probably these elements are are set to fill instead of fix with and we can change that or we can also come here and change this to center and that should do the job too so select our frame and that is working now let's check this one i will put left to right this two i'll put to center because probably they have the same issue of the other element so zoom out a little bit they're all working well. Let's go to the footer. Set these to left and right. And also for this bottom banner, let's put these to left and right too. And now we zoom out and see that all of our constraints are all well set. And now I will do the same for the other platforms for, for my tablet and my mobile version. And that's it. Before opening the plugin, I will just check my constraints one more time. That desktop is looking good. Tablet is fine and mobile works too. So now what I'll do is I'll right I'll use right click plugins because I already set this plugin into my Figma account. So breakpoints. And yeah, unfortunately they have a paid version, but with the freemium version, you can use basically one breakpoint per file and that works perfectly well for me so i'll continue and create new adapted layout and i will move it here from here you can create your breakpoints basically you can add and it will automatically add the normal breakpoints and you can edit them if you want i'll add two more and i will delete this one because my tablet frame will go from 600 to 1280 it will, it will work perfectly well so i will delete this one and i will add one more that will go to 1920. then you select on the plus icon this one will be mobile from 600 to 1280 will be tablet from to 1600 will be desktop and the bigger one will be desktop too 
and now we can close this and here we have our adapted layout and we can of course expand this vertically to check all the elements and now when you select your file and adjust the width as soon as you get the breakpoint it will go to the other frame and the same thing for mobile and one more tip if you want to edit your breakpoints later you just open your your plugin again breakpoints and instead of creating a new adaptive layout just select your previous breakpoint and from there you can adjust your breakpoints delete one of them change the the frames and everything you want and that's all you need to do and now instead of just handing off your designs for each frame or for each screen size you can add one extra file where you engineer can play around with the width and check what happens and how your designs behave from one frame to the other i hope this makes your life easier and if you want to learn more about figma and if you're passionate about product design Follow me and see you in my next tutorial. Bye-bye.